contact center is where all users with list in directory enabled under their profile are displayed. If you do not see a user listed, that is because list in directory has been disabled. On the contacts page, you will see the drop-down that will let you filter for all users, your favorites, which you can add to by clicking the star next to the contacts name, shared contacts, my contacts, which are contacts that have been manually added that are outside the domain, Co-workers, departments, which will break up users by the department entered on their user profile. Available users, busy users, and finally offline users. Underneath you will see the contacts listed. You can sort them by name, status, department, and email. Contacts displayed with a green dot are available to talk on the phone. Contacts displayed with a smaller blue dot in front of the green dot are available to chat via the web portal. If a contact has a red circle, that means the user is currently busy. If the circle is gray, that means the user is offline. To the right of the status icon, you will see the username, extension number, their status, and the department they belong to. You will then see options to chat with the contacts or edit the contact information. You are able to configure a different first or last name for the contact. You cannot change their extension. You can add a work number, a mobile number, home number, and fax number, as well as email address. Below you will see the cancel, which allows you to exit the edit contact page without making any changes, and save, which is required to be clicked if you like any of the changes you made to take effect. You can manually add a contact by clicking the add contact button. You will see the same fields you saw on the edit contact page, however, without the extension. To add the contact, fill out the fields you would like the contact to have and click save. You will now see the contact has been added to your My Contacts. You can share your contacts by exporting them into an Outlook CSV file, a Google CSV file, or a vCard CSV file. You can export all your contacts, your favorites, my contacts, coworkers, or a specific department. Once you've selected the contacts you would like to export and the CSV file format, click export. Now you can share this CSV file with other users on your domain. Simply have them click the import, browse for the file, and then import. Now those contacts will be displayed under their account as well.